What's up people, this is Kaz and welcome to Kaz Gaming. In this video we'll be helping you prepare for Lava 3. So let's get to it. Alright guys, so the first thing you should do is you should check out my Lava 3 video and you want to take a look at the, uh, the spots where you're, where you're going to set up and then you want to see what heroes you're going to need for what spot. And of course, you know, simple as simple can be, all you do is you take a look at what you've got, take a look at what heroes you've got, compare them to what heroes you need. And those are basically the heroes you got to work on, right? I mean, it's, it's, it's not rocket science. So my only tip for you there would be um, just work on one hero at a time. Let's say you got a golem. You know he has to be evolved. He's not. And let's say you got to work on anyone else like Valentina. Try not to spread it around too much. It's just going to take you longer to get your heroes ready. All right? So... Let's talk about dealing with the public. Uh, I know you might think that you would want to maybe do Lava 1 or Lava 2. But, um, you know, there's no secret, or at least it shouldn't be a secret, I'll let you guys know right now, that you probably still get more shards from Mesa 4 than you would Lava 2. So if you're working on your heroes to try and get them ready for Lava 3, you probably just want to stick to Mesa 4. I know you're thinking it's probably going to take you a long time, and it probably will. But from my experience doing Lava 2, I can tell you you probably get more shards from doing Mesa 4 than you would from Lava 2. So I just stick with Mesa 4 until you guys are ready. Um, so we'll do a couple of Mesa 4 runs. I'll show you what to look for. Um, if you didn't know by now, right? Sorry, that would be here. Nope, wrong again, that would be here. So I got a couple of runs, uh, I usually run Lava 3 uh, with my with my guild mates, but um, I'll just I'll do a couple runs for you here, I'll show you what's up. Basically, you just wanna make sure that anybody you go in with, they're at least 160. You know, you don't want to be having to carry anybody else's team. That's the worst thing, is to go into a Mesa 4 and you're forced to, you know, carry somebody else's team. This, this team is probably strong enough, we'll just leave it. You know what I mean, where they're not strong enough. The one thing that, that upsets me the most about Mesa 4 is that some guys will take advantage of wanting, wanting to be carried. And what I mean by that is they'll have like a guy that's 170 and only that one guy is 170 and all of his other all of his other guys are 150 and below. So we're going to do okay here I think. We got the beast tamer guy at 160 but everyone else is pretty strong. So I would go in on this. This is not going to bother me I don't think. This is going to easily be a win. So we'll take a look at that 160 guys team. Yeah, so this guy's legit. This guy's alright. So most of his guys are 160. Sometimes, like I said, you'll find a guy who's hiding behind one hero and expecting to be carried. I hate when that happens. So if you're one of those guys, just don't do that. All you're doing is making other guys mad. Yeah, so we're gonna fly through this thing no problem. That's basically all you want to look out for. Um, I guess another tip I could have done or let you guys know about is maybe always run a pumpkin duke just in case. I know my team doesn't have one because I was doing lava three. I don't, I don't need it in the position that I was in. But you're doing Mesa 4 with people that you don't know, you don't know what their team makeup is. I would always run a Pumpkin Duke just in case. 
And we just gotta hope for a purple. Let's get a purple. Purple it. And we all get greens. Well, <laughs> that's okay. Alright, so here we go guys. Uh, just real quick, switch out the switch out the team for you just to see for fun how fast we can take down one of these corners. So uh, just a quick point or two, you know, if you're having trouble taking all these bosses, um, you know, just set up your team so that you can uh, you got your tank in the proper place like that. So like this team set up right there would be good for uh, the south boss or the east boss. You would probably do fine, you know. But of course, if your team's strong enough, and you don't have to worry about stuff like that. So let's let's try and join one real quick. So I see a 160 guy. Uh, someone took my spot. Eh, I don't care. So <laughs> I'm not built for this spot, but whatever. Oh, my team's strong enough. It'll probably be fine. We'll see how fast we can take down one of these corners. So I got Pumpkin Duke in there just in case. Start procking on this boss. Trixie with the pumpkins, ought to help out. Oh shucks, I forgot about that. Yeah. The prop makes us dizzy, I should have brought in someone that could uh, stun. Oh uh, no well. Burn them down, burn them down. How are we doing? I don't even know which one I am. Am I, am I the correct guy? Am I winning or am I losing? Can't even tell. <laughs> It's like I'm being about even with somebody. Nope, I win. <laughs> That's kind of a fun thing to do. Who can get to the middle first? Okay, so that's what's up with Mesa 4. Just try and watch out for the, like I said, try to watch out for, you know, their levels. And sometimes you can't tell. That's just the way it goes with these public things. It's something you got to deal with. Um, if you're really stubborn about it, you can just keep trying, you know what I mean? Go in, okay, I mean that's easy, right? Everybody's everybody's 180 or 200, this is going to be a cakewalk. Right? We won't sit through that again though. But yeah, you just go in, you know, you see someone's too weak, just hop right out, have some patience, make sure you get those things done. The worst thing you want to do is, you know, you only get so many chances a day, right? So. If you fail one, then that that just is going to ruin your day. All right, so the other thing we can look at is uh, Wretched Gorge. Wretched Gorge. Hopefully, you're on Wretched Gorge three. If you're not, um, you, you got to work on it. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you how to get to Wretched Gorge three. You should probably already be there. I was there, um, still doing Mesa four, and but and not quite at Lava three. So we were doing Wretched Gorge 3. And the server's pretty good now. You can probably get a lot of good guys in the public during Wretched Gorge 3. Uh, this is the teams that I run. And it's basically pretty simple. You kind of want, you know, a Here Be Monsters team. You want someone that can debuff. Like Grimfin's really good. So this is my other team, and I got Ares in there. All right, so the one thing you don't want to use is Skull Knight. You can help out other people by doing something like this. See that? I saw that today, I thought that was cool. I had another one built where there was just walls that no SK, but you can do this. I mean, the, the message is clear, right? No SK. And the reason why you don't want to SK is the SK will lock up with the, the demon on the outside and no one else can get to him and then you guys would just fail. That's probably the only fail safe that you can try to avoid. Have no SK in there. Allow the demon to kill some of the heroes. It's totally fine. There's more than enough heroes. Let that demon come in and then you guys can take him out. So we'll run. we can try and run one here. <laughs> it's towards server reset, so maybe we don't got enough guys. There we go. So you just kind of zoom in, take a look at the heroes. Uh, I don't really see anyone. I don't see anyone with an SK, so I think we're safe. 
And you can just look on the left hand side. That's the might for everyone's team. It's good to go. I mean, even the 70,000 is, is more than enough. This looks like a pretty good setup. We'll let it, we'll let it run. I'm taking out these guys pretty easily. I like when the waves come from my side because then I can see what my guys can do. There's a demon you gotta worry about. Looks like we got a bunch of guys on him. We got a pumpkin dude in there, it kind of looks like it. Everybody's attacking pretty fast. That's another reason for having Grimfin in there too. He doesn't get stunned, right? He just keeps attacking. That's kind of nice. Okay, yeah, we're slowing down a bit. Maybe the pumpkin dude died. And we just might... Uh, I don't know, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. I don't know, there's. Yeah, okay, it is, it is a loss. Sorry, guys, it's a loss. And that's probably because the pumpkin dude died. So that's probably something else you can do to help out, you know, put. Um, get your pumpkin duke on a revive, something like that. And in this team, also, you see my pumpkin duke is not in the middle, he's on the side. And that way, in case the demon is more of outside, the pumpkin duke can still get to him. If you were to put the pumpkin duke, let's say, where Trixie is right now, then and all four pumpkin dukes are stuck in the middle, of course they're going to be safer, but then they might not be able to reach the demon. Right? So that's, that's another tip for you right there. So on this one, he's a little more in the middle, but not quite. I know a lot of guys like to run him straight in the middle to be so that he's the safest, but... Sometimes that, that, that can actually backfire on you. Alright, we got a couple more tries. Um, yeah, it's probably gonna burn up too much time, guys. You get the idea. Oh, the SK setup. I can show you that real quick. So, you join a team, and then you just hit edit a couple times, and that's what it looks like. Yeah, no SK. No SK. That's just letting everybody know you don't want anybody to run an SK. Right, switch back. That's what that looks like. All right, cool. So that's what you can do. Um, I hope this video has helped you guys out. I know dealing with the public can, can be kind of irritating sometimes because just the way that people, um, you know, the way people run their things, the, the, the heroes that they use, they don't really put too much thought into it and they just run. And then you get the worst one is the guys that expect to be carried by other heart, uh, by stronger teams, right? You got the guys who are just slackers and they just want to just want to attach on to a stronger team and then let them do the work for you. That's one thing you definitely cannot do with Lava 3. All four teams got to be stacked. And I mean, if you go and watch any Lava 3 videos, you'll see all the teams are, are strong. And even at that rate, they only end with like 20 or 30 seconds left on the clock. So, so no one team can be carried in Lava 3. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say that, of course, there are videos out there where guys are doing it with only three people, and, and maybe, they could, maybe they could carry a team, but it's highly unlikely. You know, that, you just don't see that a lot, is what I'm trying to get at. Um, all right, guys, that's probably going to do it for this video. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you watch the next one. I want to wish you luck getting to Lava 3. So take these tips. Uh, prepare you guys. Prepare your heroes for that. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. This is Kaz, signing out.